<laughs> well, well, well. Alone at last. <laughs> In a heterosexual, straight kind of way, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to watch the game? What game? You know, foot skitball. What a great play. A <laughs> pie. <laughs> See, um, before, when I was gay, that high five might have sent a tingle up my thigh straight to my home entertainment center. <laughs> but now that I'm straight, it's just a couple of guys celebrating the ball doing something good. Exactly. Welcome Back Home teaches that physical contact between two men is okay, as long as there's nothing behind it. That's us, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Game. Yeah. So, want to hit the showers? <laughs> what? You know, like they're doing. Jack, I don't think that's appropriate. What do you talk? It's just a couple of naked straight guys soaping each other down. <laughs> okay, I, I have to say something here. The back slapping and the head rubbing was one thing, but the ear blowing and the butterfly kisses are not standard NBA practice. <laughs> and now this shower thing. What do you imply? You're coming on to me. What? I am shocked and appalled. But are you interested? <laughs> you think that you can just come in here and use this group, this group that puts people back on the path of righteousness, as some kind of dating service? I just need a yes or a no. <laughs> no. And I want to make something crystal clear to you and to everyone else in this room. Excuse me. We are here to lead normal, heterosexual lives. Man and woman are meant to be together. So anyone here who has a misguided notion that welcome back home is some kind of a, a, a gay pickup joint, you can just leave right now. So, what's your favorite part of the susicle so far? Probably the look that robe shrunken old people gave you when you sat down in front of them. Yeah. Well, that'll teach him to unwrap butterscotch during the overture. <laughs> you want anything from the bar? Whatever they got, but, but nothing to drink. The line for the laser room goes from here to Whoville. <laughs> oh, yeah, like in the play. <laughs> Not smart. Doesn't need to be. Hey. I, I cannot believe what I just saw. Married men having affairs. Is there anything worse? Ooh, I should go. <laughs> Best lunch I've had in years. Oh, honey, me too. Honey, I didn't even think. Honey, I was talking about the olives. <laughs> Jillian. Uh, nice of you to put an appearance. I was just filling out your evaluation. What do you think I should put down for punctuality? I was going to put down a check, but now I think I'm going to have to change that to a check minus. <laughs> okay, I have a good excuse. Karen and I drank a long lunch at the Four Seasons. Jillian, just, just get to work. Oh, honey, no. I have an appointment at Yolanda's for a spirulina mask. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that color doesn't even look good on an orange, okay? <laughs> Kisses all around. <laughs> her spunk. Very professional. Honey, sit down. What's going on? What's happening? What's this all about? I've got something tough to tell you. Uh, I'm fabulous, okay? I'm an incredible dresser. I've got buckets of money. I'm a hoot and a half, and i got a killer rack. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, not really. Honey, you're not me, and you never will be. Is it the rock? Oh. It's a big part of it. <laughs> now, you're never going to be me, but you got a good chance to be Grace, and that's nothing to sneeze at, honey. You shouldn't have thrown it away so quickly. But Grace, she's just not us. Up, 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 up. Watch your mouth, or I'll wash it out with cheap vodka. <laughs> that's my little girl you're talking about. Now, Grace is a damn good role model. She's bright, she's successful, she's the worst 
dresser in the whole wide world. <laughs> She's talented and I look up to her. Honey, why else would I be here? You told me it's because you hate being home with Stan and the kids. Oh. <laughs> it's a big part of it. <laughs> a pin. I think it came out of my knee. <laughs> so, what took you so long to call me? That's sort of my style. I like to wait you know, until the guy has lost all interest in or memory of me, and then I strike. Oh. <laughs> well, it worked for me. Oh, look. Sean, last year's All-Star again. Pedro Martinez is the best pitcher in baseball, don't you think? <clears throat> don't tell me you're a Johnson fan. Oh, I'm, I'm a big Johnson fan. <laughs> Oh. Want another beer? Mm. Yeah, two more, please. Sorry. I love sports. Uh -huh. I always wanted to be a sportscaster. Yeah? Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to hold my mother's curling iron and pretend I was Howard Cosell. It's funny, you know, when I was a kid, I used to hold my mother's curling iron and pretend I was Eartha Kid. But, you know, you, you should pursue it. You'd be great. Well, actually, I've got a meeting next week for an on-air position at Channel 9. That's great. You know, I just love that you're into this. The last guy I dated hated sports. Huh. <laughs> hey, you know, since you're a baseball fan, you should join my buddies and me. We get a game going every Saturday in the park. You interested? Absolutely. I, I you know, I miss playing. What's your position? I'm for it. Uh -huh. <laughs>